Hi, this is a Munchkin T80 boiler. Um, I have had it for about 10 years. It was professionally installed, but I've done all the maintenance on it. The uh, plumbing company, I think they wanted about $300 a year to maintain it. And I thought, I've, I've got time. So I just wanted to go over some of the issues that I've had with the boiler and how I resolve them. The most common issue is the flame detector right here and I've had to pull it out and sand it off you know, just with a piece of uh, sandpaper and I've done that about once a year and that's when I get a, an F9 there. The other issue that I've had is when it was installed, the air intake right here and the exhaust were too close to each other uh, outside of the house. And so some of the exhaust was getting sucked back in and it would condense in the air intake pipe and drip down on the boil or on the blower fan and that caused the blower fan to go out. So I had to replace that. And when I replaced it, I also added... <laughs> I asked him. I also added a, a little plastic shield right here to keep it from dripping down. And that's just a piece of packaging. Uh, and to get the blower motor out, I uh, removed these four screws, so two on top, then there's two in back here, and then there's three uh, screws, one, two, and three, the last one's kind of right back in here. And then the blower assembly comes out. Uh, it's a little bit easier to get the blower assembly out if you remove these three screws and then uh, remove these 10 millimeter bolts. And then the, the whole assembly will, will pop out. Uh, the other issue that I've had is my spin plate right right up in here it started to deteriorate and that was making the, the flame and when I look at through the burn window uh, the flame was really bouncing around and you can see how this spin plate is just in terrible shape uh, but after replacing it, the flame was nice and smooth, and it took care of the, the F10 errors that I was getting. Anyway, I hope that helps, and those are all the issues that I've had in, in 10 years. As far as maintenance, uh, I blow out the right over here, blow out the uh, condenser. I try to do that once a year. And then uh, I'll, I'll take this assembly off. So take these four uh, screws out and these bolts, I think there's five of them. Yep, six. And this just pulls out I'll blow that off with compressed air, then I have a brass brush, I'll uh, go around the edges. I've only done that about once every five years, so twice, but uh, it hasn't been very dirty. And I use this to keep my domestic hot water, and there's about six members of my family, and this also heats my, my house. And it, so 
the house is almost 6,000 square feet. Uh, we have forced air as well, so this probably heats 3,000 square feet. And uh, even with that much use, because we live in a, you know, a snowy environment, the, the coils have really not gotten very dirty. And you know, cleaning them has been no big deal. It's about a, a three hour job, which you know, isn't much for every five years. Then blowing out the condenser, that takes maybe 10 minutes each year. So anyway, I hope that helps uh, someone.